and uh, Clevinger for Cleveland. And uh, he is opens up minus a dollar ten. See him up to a dollar twenty. And uh, as I look live right now, between a dollar fifteen and a dollar twenty, game opens up at eleven, bounces back to ten and a half, back up to eleven, and now we are seeing ten and a half over seems to be the number. And I could see why they would want to be betting this game under. So we'll definitely see an edge with the under in this matchup. Indians, they're 17 and 8. Their last 25 road games versus a righty, 14 and 38, though, in the interleague road games versus a team with a winning record. When Colorado's gotten their winning record down the road. That's where they've done most of their winning. So, and they are not successful in the interleague either. 31 and 72, their last 103 interleague games. Let's go scratch any interleague advantage. And uh, Indians, 3 and 7 for Clevinger in his last 10 starts. So, Santazella comes with a 5 and 1, uh, his last ho six home starts, and 11 and 3, his last 11 starts. So, you see a little bit of a reason why you may want to uh, back. A little bit of Colorado, see a little steam of Colorado because they're a little bit of a hotter team right now. But uh, the under, as I said, seems to be the play. 17, 6, and 3 for the Indians on the road, their last 26. 33, 16, and 3, their last 52 following a win. Clevinger, he's 9 and 2 to the under overall, 4 and 1 to the under on the road. And in Colorado, 5, 1 and 1 to the under, their last seven meetings. So we should definitely see a nice edge for Cleveland and Colorado to go under the 10 and a half runs.